Hi everybody, it's Weezy here. I am back with a new video, and it's gonna be a whole video with a new background. Yes, as you can see, my background there, and this is temporarily, because this video is a book haul, so it made sense to do the video for my bookcases. So these are all my books. It's a short bookcase, but it makes sense to do it. So, let's get started. Now, every artist should have a collection of books. We should all have books in our, in our homes or studios, whatever you want, where you keep your books at. We also have a collection a small library books and last year I did a video about my favorite art books and business books and I'll put links on the video below. It's a good video I did in front of this bookcase as well. But yeah, same kind same concept. But it's a little different now. This video is all about whole books I recently purchased and we can go through them. It's not a lot, it's only like four books, but the good books. Okay, I love purchasing books. Books are good to have, but books are very expensive, especially if you go to Barnes Nobles, very expensive. But I also love secondhand stores like thrift shops like Goodwill, Hasbro, and they always have a good collection of books. So recently, I took a little trip. Well, I went to one too. I took little trips to some secondhand stores and thrift shops, and and I found some really good books I'm going to share with you. The first book I'm talking about is every, probably everybody knows this book. It's been around for a while. There's another version of it, but everybody knows about this book. It's this book. It's Deal Like an Artist by Austin Keeline. This book is about his. The overall general of this book is saying that every idea that comes that we have in the world that anybody, everybody has is stolen. No, there's no original idea. Everything is borrowed, or in other words, stolen. In this case, it's stolen, which kind of makes sense. If you really think about ideas, all ideas are based over something else, was based on something else. So it's, it's kind of an online cycle of ideas, which is very true. It's a good book, it's a short book. I read it in about like two days. It's really good. Um, I was here. I wasn't sure I really wanted the book beginning because I thought the best kind of, like the title is kind of lame to me, but I don't know. But it's I got got it. It's a really good book. I may read it again. I recommend it all artists. He talked about ideas and and uh, improving yourself as an artist and as who you are and finding your and finding your unlock your creativity and all things like that. It's a really good book. Now this book in Barnes and Nobles originally is ten ninety five. I got it for a dollar in Goodwill. See, books like Goodwill can you buy books like this in Goodwill for really, really cheap. It was only a dollar, so it's really good. So, Goodwill, I recommend it. It's very popular in the design world. I, I, I bet a lot of people have already, have already read it. I may read it again. I liked it first time, so I recommend it. Be like an artist. Okay, the next book I started with recently. If you're not a fan of graffiti artists or like street or anything like grungy this book's not for you then but it's and it kind of it's not it kind of gets it teaches you to be like a bad artist not bad like you don't know how to draw bad bad as like you do legal really stuff bad the book is called the gorilla art kit it is by uh carrie smith it's she goes to teach you how to do legal art as like putting artwork on pull of on property and street are all getting caught you know putting a poster up in her on or some of the building are being caught it's bad because she she tells you like how to stay away from the cops and what to do or materials you need so you, so you don't get caught to do what you have to do so you don't get caught so it's kind of like being a really like doing stuff legally illegally but in the name of art it's good but like really i kind of think much should not have existed because someone who like doesn't like i don't know some i think it's, it's weird but it's a really good book. I just finished it a few days ago, and she gives ideas and tips and she exercises in here that you should do and to be your artist. It's really good, and she can teach you how to make, make your own glue, how to make your own stencils, and your own stickers, but like, it's easy, basic stuff kind of thing like that. But it's it's interesting book, but I like it, and I may, I could not be curious, I want to do some bad stuff. I don't know, I kind of do it like a gun, like a car. Don't say anything. Shh. I don't know, but it's a really good book. I like it. It's fun to read. It makes you think about what can I do and not get caught by being caught doing it. So I recommend if you want it to be risky, The Gorilla Art Kit is a good book to read and go to follow. So there's some cool ideas in here as well that I may look into. It. So Gorilla Art Kit. Check it out. Oh, yeah, and this came from Google as well. I'm not sure if it still exists in um, bookstores. What if it does, it will be in $17.95. I got it for uh, two bucks. 
See? Two bucks. Out of seventeen ninety five. Good deal at Goodwill again. So I may try something out here. Gorilla Art Kit. Check it out. Okay, the next book I got from Goodwill was a basic coloring pencil technique book. This is a really good book. It's filled with detailed uh, like tips on how to use colored pencils and lines you can use, line techniques you can use, and how to use, how to do shading colored pencils. See, I'm not really into colored pencils like this. See, it's very really cute. But I'm not really into colored pencils. But I think I will be one day. I like them. They're not bad. But I'm, my, my thing is I like Marcos more. But the, the ideas in here are white, and the colors are beautiful. Like, yeah, that's gorgeous. So, I may get any colored pencils, but this is good. If you're into colored pencils, you know, to draw, I think it's a good book to have. Oh, you're starting out colored pencils with these basics. It's a good book to have. It's, it's really good. I like it. It's, it's gorgeous. The paint, the colors in here, right? I like that detail. They, they, do, they go step by step, like, step two, step four. They, they go through a whole drawing to help you out so you can get the drawing that you want, that you want out here. It's really good. This book is originally $17.99. It says down there, seventeen ninety nine. I paid like two bucks for it. Goodwill, good book to have. And cheap in Goodwill, but not bad. Seventeen ninety nine is not bad for for this book. But I think it's really good. You're starting out in color pencils. I think it's a good book. I really like it. I'm I'm looking forward to using some of this. Maybe getting color pencils very soon. And the last book we got is kind of I already have the basic. The other ones of this, like so right back here. So this, I, the book I got was the Illustrated CS Bible. Now I have the Photoshop Bible and I have the PowerPoint to the PowerPoint Bible. This is the Illustrated CS Bible. This is like the whole program in a book, but not with the not with the master program itself. It kind of helps you teach you about everything you need to know about Illustrator. In here, some layers to lines to to all the tools and everything you need to hear. It's a really good book. I have the other two. It's a big book. See, it's very big. Most design developers have a somewhat of a Bible manual for the software so you can read. It has everything you need to know about the program in the book. So this is for Illustrator CS. It's really good. Got from, got from Google as well. Um, let's see. How much is the book? Oh, it's, this is this is going to draw you nuts. This book is forty four ninety nine. They're expensive. They're not. They're not cheap. I got it at Google. $2.99. I know. Take a breath. Think, think. I, I understand. It's a, it's a good deal. So, worth going to Google to find a Google. And this is the rare thing. When you find all this in Google, you can't, like, pass it up. You can't not take it. But, because these books are expensive. This is the whole program. The book teaches you to put a entire program. And they're a really good book to have to collect. I have two of them as before. So, it's as my collection over them already have. So, the illustrate see us. Bye. Okay, so those are books I purchased recently from Goodwill, and see how cheap they were. It was amazing. It's, it's really good. So they're all good books. I'm looking forward to get more into them, read them more. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye.